Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the new media controls from the lock screen in Windows 11, the build 22543. This is the latest build for the dev channel and Microsoft introduced a new design for the media controls in the lock screen. Microsoft is telling us that the design of those media controls will look something like this, basically the same media controls that we have on the quick access menu. But the thing is that Microsoft is not enabling this for all insiders. So if you're on the dev channel on the latest build, you may not have this feature. So I have here an audio file that I played in order to show you how the old media control looks. And it looks something like this. This is the old design from Windows 10, of course. This is a pretty old design, Windows 10-ish, as you can see with the uh, square corners and um, old animations from Windows 10 and other uh, operating systems. So let me show you how to enable this hidden feature that is not enabled for every insider that is enrolled in the dev channel. In previous videos, I saw a lot of comments, you asking how to enable these hidden features in other versions or builds of Windows 11. Well, you cannot do that. You can always enable these hidden features that are not available for everyone if you are on the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. So let's begin. As you may have guessed, we're gonna download Vive tool yet again. This is a tool that can help you see some features or configure some features from Windows in general. So we're gonna download this. You're gonna have this link in the article down below in the description. Just click on Vive tool v021 zip or the latest version, go into the location where you downloaded that zip file, right click on it and then click on extract all and make sure you select the location system 32. So that would be this PC, local disk C, Windows, and then scroll down to find system 32 and click on select folder and then click on extract. In my case, I'm gonna have to replace the files in the destination because I already extracted that but that's no issue, I'm gonna extract it again. Now all you need to do is to open up a CMD as administrator. So open up the search box, type in there CMD and right click on CMD and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, click on yes. In CMD, you're gonna to have to paste in the following command, which is Vive tool add config this value and then two, which means that we will enable this feature. This command will be in the article down below. So don't forget to get this command from there. Press enter and you will receive the message successfully set feature configuration. It is recommended that you do a restart, but even if you don't do a restart, the feature will be enabled. So let me play this clip again and see how the new media controls from the lock screen look in Windows 11. You can see them here. It is rearranged a bit. Of course, this is in the early stage, but we have the rounded corners, some new icons. These things are organized differently. And of course, depending on the app that you're using or the app that plays sound or video, for example, I'm using the media player, but you may be using Spotify or something like that, you will have a interesting design here. It can be bugged sometimes, so that that's a thing that you should know because it's in the early stage. But this is how you can easily enable the new media controls from Windows 11 on the latest Insider preview build for the dev channel if you are not one of those lucky Windows Insiders that had that by default enabled. Of course, if you want to know more details about this, make sure to check out the article down below where you'll also find the Vive tool down the link and also the command that I've used in this video. If this video is useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.